Um, in 2009, uh, my dad actually was the one who kind of uh, formed this. He uh, was diagnosed with PSP then, and he, um, just like he did in business, uh, instead of uh, trying to figure out if he, thinking that he knew all, all the answers, uh, he went out and got the Michael Jordan, uh, if you will, of uh, efforts like this uh, to lead this effort, and that was Bruce Miller uh, at UCSF. Um, this is something that he did in business as many times, whether it was Michael Eisner at Disney or whether it was, um, you know, Rusty and George of the Rangers. Uh, you know, he, he, he tried to find the best people that he could to, and put them in charge and just let them go. Most, most people don't have any, any opportunity to help lead an effort to help their, their loved one. Mm -hmm. but, but me being able to lead an effort where I feel like I've got a 0.1% chance uh, to come up with uh, a cure or uh, an effective treatment for my dad uh, makes it really all, all, all the worthwhile. I know it's a long shot, but it, it, you know, having having a sense, a little sense of control, really makes it feel. I feel, I feel very privileged to be able to do that. And, and, and who knows, you know, if, if we if we can't find something for him, you know, finding stuff f for the next generation or the next generation, um, it's exciting. And so far, so good. Um, the most exciting thing for me. Uh, in all this is, is you've got the directors, you've got the SAB and all these people that, that kind of work for you if you will uh, but when we have all these other groups AFTD and Cure PSP and all these third party groups that come here and talk to me that's when I know okay I've, I've actually been part of a group that's actually really accomplishing something. Uh, One of the things that has come out of this effort is a clinical trials network led by Adam Boxer and uh, we have uh, already completed uh, a major 300-person uh, study through Adam. Um, in addition, uh, there are now uh, uh, monoclonal antibodies being given to patients with progressive supranuclear palsy. This comes directly out of the Tau Consortium. And then I think, uh, very exciting, in the next months, uh, two new treatment trials that have come out of the Tau Consortium will be brought into patients. So this, this has uh, been accelerated science, uh, um, science on steroids. It's just been amazing. Uh, when we started this, PSP was an orphan disease. No one was interested in it. But I think as we focused on, in the consortium on um, PSP, we've realized it's a disorder of a protein called tau. Um, and in PSP, tau is the only uh, bad protein. So I think uh, anyone interested in tau suddenly is focused on PSP. Well, what's another disease with tau? Alzheimer's disease. So we think if we can find effective tau therapies for PSP, uh, they will have great relevance to Alzheimer's disease as well. And also to another major tauopathy is what our National Football League players have developed, chronic traumatic encephalopathy. Uh, so I think the tau consortium is all, also focusing on these uh, disorders that uh, have been present in some football players who've retired and uh, beginning to think about treating them as well.